let's go ahead and basically get right to it. Of course, I have to cover the the mass animal die-offs that have been going on for the last few days. And my upfront opinion is that I don't know what it is, and I'm just gonna wait to find out. I mean. I'm still waiting to find out for sure what happened with the BP oil disaster. I mean, these things take time before we figure out all the facts. But it's pretty creepy and disturbing, and I hope it's over with, or will be soon. And um, I wanted to go over this uh, article posted at uh, Activist Post at ActivistPost.com. And the headline is, The 10 Leading Theories for Dead Birds and Fish. And once again, who knows? I don't know. Time will tell, but uh, let's just do a quick overview. First, you have the mainstream explanations, which is lightning, hell, midair collision, power lines, and New Year fireworks, uh, but disease for the fish. And that, I just don't believe that. It just, I don't know. It's, Come on, consider the source, you know what I'm saying, and look at history. Uh, meteor showers, that's another one. Uh, the third one is a New Madrid uh, fault line. Now, I'm no scientist, so I don't know for sure, but it is interesting. Uh, number four is government testing, which that's one that just sounds correct to me just right off the bat like yeah I mean New Madrid fault line and, and meteor showers that could be involved with government testing too who knows honestly so it'd just be better sounds better to me to just categorize it as a government testing you know man-made uh, intervention definitely and who has all the resources and money and power to do that but people in the government are with ties to the government so, government testing. Uh, this one's interesting. A GMO mutation. And it says that uh, Mike Adams of Natural News sets forth an interesting theory. This latest event is local, but the die offs are happening across species as bee populations and bats are also declining. Adams points out that Monsanto has a corporate office in Arkansas. Just wondering. See, that one's interesting, too, because specific um, species of animal are dying. And Monsanto definitely has experience with, you know, making things exact with these genetically modified uh, organisms. So that's, that's another good part of it, too. Which basically, as far as I'm concerned, falls under government testing because all the laws and regulations are uh, what prop up corporations like Monsanto in the first place, so it can still be classified as government. Uh, next on the list, geoengineering. Could spraying in the area have caused this type of fallout? Perhaps something new added to the mixture? Chemtrails have quickly moved from conspiracy theory to documented fact. And that's an interesting theory too, but they've been spraying chemtrails everywhere for years and years and years and Although there have been animal die-offs in the past few years, nothing like this. So unless they got some new up upgraded chemtrails, new and improved, which I hope not, <laughs> you know, definitely not. But this could be related to it, you know what I'm saying? This could be related to the cause or have something to do with it. But uh, ho hopefully it's not chemtrails, maybe some other form of geoengineering. Which brings us to the next, uh, leading cause, which is a harp, of course, I mean, harp, that's the military with the weaponry to manipulate the weather, so obvious uh, suspect, definitely. If you don't know about harp, I suggest you research it. I'm not going to get into it here. But next on the list you have the scalar weapons which are apparently are directed energy beam weapons and can be deployed via satellite and create a wide range of natural disasters. That's interesting too, but I don't know about that either just because specific birds were killed off and that seems more of like some kind of genetic ordeal. I mean, who knows, maybe, uh, I don't know. See, this is one of those weird things that it's just, you can't be sure. 
But next on the list is Project Blue Beam, which is, you know, the fake holograms that are going to um, be uh, shot to us from space. They're going to have holographic UFOs with fake disclosures and this kind of thing. I don't think so. And uh, the last one is the most uh, just normal sounding one. Uh, geomagnetic and other earth changes. And um, it says we are facing an array of human tampering. However, the backdrop to this are the anomalies beginning to take form of the apparent wandering of our magnetic pole. And that's all very scientific. And I can say for sure one way or the other. I will let time tell basically on this first thing, but I still had to go over it and talk about it because of that is some wild stuff.